Christina Maurice, in that email to colleagues today, Brokaw ripped apart the claims by this accuser, calling Linda Vester a character assassin who left NBC News angry that she had failed in her pursuit of stardom. At the time, he was the network's biggest star. She, a young NBC News correspondent based in Washington. I was groped and assaulted. By Tom Brokaw. Linda Vester tells Variety magazine and the Washington Post she was sexually harassed by Tom Brokaw, describing an encounter with the legendary newsman in a New York City hotel room in the mid 1990s. He leans over with his index finger and puts it on my mouth to silence me and says, This is our compact. And at that point, he took the same hand reached behind my head and tried to force me to kiss him. In a letter to colleagues, Brokaw, who remains an NBC News special correspondent, fired back with fighting words, emphatically denying any verbal or physical attack against Vester, comparing the reports and the publications to a drive-by shooting. I was ambushed and then perp-walked across the pages of the Washington Post and Variety as an avatar of male misogyny, taken to the guillotine and stripped of any honor and achievement. Another woman says he put her hands against his chest around the same time. He told the Post that too never happened. Since the allegations surfaced, Variety obtained a letter signed by several of Brokaw's female colleagues, including anchors, correspondents, producers, and personal assistants, calling him a man of tremendous decency and integrity, saying he has given each of us opportunities for advancement and championed our successes throughout our careers. Late this afternoon, Brokaw backed out from delivering the commencement address at Sacred Heart University in Connecticut next month, concerned he could be a distraction. Meanwhile, there are new accusations against former NBC Today Show host Matt Lauer. The chairman of NBC News says the findings of the network's internal review on Lauer may be coming out next week. Christina Maurice. Okay, Jessica, thank you.